What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equali Espresso and holy crap, I'm sure that you guys tuned in for the reveal. That was absolutely unreal. I can't even wrap my mind around it. I am literally at a loss for words and I have so much content I can push out for you guys and I just don't even know where to start. I'm going to be covering all of it and everything you need to know here up on my channel for the next few days to weeks. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Today we're going to be breaking down the multiplayer trailer that you can find on the Call of Duty channel. But before we get too far into it, we're going to do something a little bit different here up on my channel because you guys know I don't like doing multiple uploads in a day, but it's something that with so much information and stuff to talk about it's almost needed but because I don't like doing that and sub boxes are often a bit wacky what we're gonna do is we're gonna say let's get this to a hundred likes and at that point in time I'll drop the next video on advanced warfare for this coverage immediately so we'll do this for as long as I can keep my head above water on this coverage does that sound like a deal to you guys Hopefully it does, and if so, all I can say is, okay, cool, let's go with that. So, like I said, today we're going to be breaking down the multiplayer trailer that you can find on the Call of Duty channel. Link down in the description below if you guys can't find it or search it for yourselves. Like I said, I just, I'm, I'm completely overwhelmed by all of this. It's just so amazing. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are too. So, let's get right into the breakdown. Firstly, we get some gameplay from our map, Biolab, first person, and all its beauty. The first things that we can notice are the HUD, our assault rifle, and our boost ability. Then we can see our switch to the TAC-19 Runner Advanced Rifling Shotgun. Now the TAC-19 is the base weapon. We'll get into this a little bit later, but basically all the extended part of the name means is that it's a custom-built shotgun. Now the TAC-19 is our sonic shotgun that was teased in the E3 induction gameplay. So moving along, we have our threat detection grenade, which will allow us to see enemies through the walls and act as like a temporary oracle, comparing it to Call of Duty Ghost a little bit. It doesn't last that long, so don't worry too much. That is our tactical on this loadout. Our lethal is almost like a new ballistic knife-esque addition to it. It's a one-shot kill, but it almost looks to me like an advanced throwing star. So while we don't know the name of this just yet, it is quite interesting to see it's a one-shot kill. And because we only have one of them, I would guess it's almost like the throwing knife or ballistic knives in Black Ops 2 where it can be refilled by scavenger packs in the map. Moving along to our next scene, we've got some jungle gameplay and some sniping, which is definitely fun. Now the sniper is a single-shot railgun, which interestingly enough isn't classified as a sniper in the game, but rather classed as an energy weapon, which I'd personally disagree with, but I'm not going to be arguing with a developer of the game just because of my personal view on it. Now, just before this player shoots, you can see that we have the chance to pick up the S12 AR. It's not that important, but it's just something that I want to jot down some names for you guys of the weapons that we've seen thus far. One of the biggest things here, though, is that the sniper rifles are continuing one of the things that Ghost did right for the COD name, but that is the dual rendering scope. So, yes, it will blur your peripherals, but you can see the world around you still. A really cool re-addition to the game in my opinion. Next we see some cloaking which for those that are worried later in the reveal we did see some footage of the cloaked player in the eyes of the enemy and you can honestly clearly see them so it's not hard to spot them at all so my advice to you don't worry about it it's not going to be as bad as you're thinking. Cloaking is also one of those exo abilities that we'll be talking about later in a different video showcasing exo abilities, but it's a battery powered thing so it doesn't last forever. After the kill is earned, we see that we have a missile strike available, which I just want to take a second and rub in the fact that my hunch about the hidden hellfire missile in one of the behind the scenes videos was actually right. These actually are important to the game, and how so? Well, the missile strike is nearly exactly like the Hellstorm missile from Black Ops 2. It reminds me of it extremely. You can even cluster it into what is called the Typhoon cluster in advanced warfare now as well the icons are very similar a great addition to the game in my books for this streak and one that I'm definitely happy about finally for this scene though I'm not sure if anybody spotted it but the jug icon is back and my guess is that we'll go with the kill streak that we'll talk about later which is called the Goliath switching over to our map uplink on the San Francisco Bay we get the beware of tsunami warning which is the interactive map feature for this specific map so dynamic maps are returning in advanced warfare and it'll come at a point in time and change the playing field of the entire map. So first off in this first person view we get to see is camos. We've seen a lot of them already and we'll be talking about them more in a later date. But right here, we can see that the fact we won't have just the dry and drab colors like we did in Ghost. There are a lot of pale and boring colors that we did see in Ghost as opposed to other Call of Duties having vibrant colors. I will give you, though, that the fact that some of these camos that were DLC camos in Ghost were a little bit vibrant. Some stuff like the Spectrum camo was extremely vibrant, stuff like that. But these colors right away catch your eye. They have actual color to them. So that's something I'm excited for. Next, we see the RW1 Radiance Target Enhancer. It's a single shot pistol, but it's only one shot in the barrel at a time. 
time. So from what it looks like, it's only a one shot kill, but with the constant dependency on accuracy that counterbalances that. Now the scavenged weapons on the ground in this one include the ADR A3 and IMR. We also get to see the ballistic mesh shields battery powered for our exosuit. So you can watch it, use it away, but when it cools down, it's usable again. So swimming is also in advanced warfare for the first time in Call of Duty. You don't die when you go into the water in multiplayer. Personally, that's extremely realistic. I don't think I've ever died whenever I jumped into the water, but it's something that allows for different dynamics in the game, all jokes aside. Something really cool that we're going to be able to bring our playing styles into different areas of the maps. That'll allow us to adjust our play styles to either get out of a situation or just for new ones. Next up, we can see that we can earn supply drops in games. Now, my guess is that this is going to be similar to like squad points in Ghost, where you can earn them in game for your achievements. While we do get extra supply drops with the collector's editions of the game, and we don't really know how hard these will be to get, it's also good to know that we can earn these in game just by playing. Now we also see another variation of the TAC-19, this one being the TAC-19 bang stick laser sight. It's a single shot, and again, it's just more variation on the gun. We'll go into that in my customization video. We'll talk about all the custom class loadouts, all that kind of stuff that we can see from that in a later video. But moving along, we also have a new loadout in this scene in our HUD. That includes a shock charge down by our ammo counter, and we can also see the hybrid sight in action. Also, we get to earn an orbital care package. It's the same as a normal care package but the installment of them into advanced warfare. So we see our switch to the ASM-1 advanced rifling auto assault rifle. More customization on the guns right there, and we get to see the boost jump dodge. Now we saw this little bit in the little tease from the clip from the storyline trailer about two weeks ago, and it's the exact same clip. Now something else that I noticed is that the running animation for this one is very similar to the running animation with a knife in Ghost for me for some reason. Maybe it's just me, I'm not too sure. But regardless, next we can see that we earn the XS1 Vulcan. We'll get to that just in a short little bit in this video here, but that's another score streak that you can earn. The minimap also highlights your player as you shoot. Unless you have a silencer, it acts as a normal radar, but alerts you also when you're being seen to enemies. Our next scene starts off with an exo punch to the face, something I'm super excited to do. A new melee is punching someone so hard that they die. To me, that's just awesome. We get to see some capture the flag gameplay, and we also get to see some action from an unnamed SMG at the moment, but we do switch over to the S12 Vengeant foregrip auto, and that is a three burst shotgun, something very similar to the M12 in Black Ops 2 to me. Then we get to see our exo slam. It's a boost jump into our downward melee attack, and it just looks absolutely amazing. That whole swimming thing comes back, and we get to see what it's like to swim around and then just sneak up on people in the water. You can also link up with the defensively support Warbird. An interesting choice of wording there, even though we've got score streaks, that kind of makes me think that we'll have specific class sets inside of all those score streaks together. Next, we can see the explosive tip crossbow. It seems like five shots that we get with it, but high damage, and I'd be willing to bet with this returning that we see the return of sticks and stones as a game mode as well. Now we get to see the Goliath kill streak here next, something a lot of people haven't caught on with the name yet. That was teased only in a brief few seconds later on in the reveal event, and I feel like I was one of the only people really to see this on Twitter, at least what I'm basing it on, to catch the name. So you can use the Gatling gun as well as you can self-destruct in this thing. And right before our countdown into the power changes everything, is this possibly what our map-based score streak is on Uplink, a giant map based laser turret streak. That'll be very interesting to see. We don't know exactly yet, but I'm sure it's going to be playing a major role for this map. So after our countdown starts, we get to see our riot map streak, a large XMG machine gun that just wreaks havoc on the entire map. And the last thing that we'll be talking about here in this breakdown is the XS1 Vulcan. Remember that streak we got earlier? Well, this is it, and it reminds me of the Loki, but hopefully more powerful. The laser actually looks like it could do something. It looks like it could do some real damage to the map and the enemies as well. So again, I feel like one of my prediction videos did come true in a way. This does remind me of a DARPA type of score streak. If you guys don't know what that is, be sure to go look it up on my channel. I got an entire video on it, but the last thing to really talk about is that us pre-order users do get an extra day of playing time. What do I mean by this? Well, the Day Zero edition of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was announced today as well, where for an entire 24 hours before launch, the entire November 3rd day 
all servers will be up to everybody who pre-ordered it. You can have it accessible on your console, and you can play an entire day of multiplayer before anybody else gets it. So while we won't be having a beta, 24 hours early is still something tremendously amazing to have. It's something that is a first for Call of Duty, the entire franchise. We've never seen anything like it, and it's going to be absolutely awesome. So be sure you go out and pre-order that so you get the opportunity to play an entire day early, get a head start jump on all of your friends and all of your stats, all your unlocks, stuff like that it's gonna be a blast but that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching my name is Vinny Cola Espresso like I said we have a ton of stuff to talk about here regarding the advanced warfare multiplayer reveal we've just got so much stuff it's like an information overload like I said if we get this video to 100 likes I will drop the next episode here of all the content that I've got planned for you guys as soon as we hit 100 likes so be sure you share this video around with all of your friends be sure to give it a like and tell me down below what was your favorite part about this trailer I don't want to limit that question too much but I don't want to also open it up enough to the fact we're going to cover topics that we're going to be talking about later here on my channel so like I said thank you guys so much for watching my name is Vinicola Espresso if you did like the video please leave a like ring down below any shares to your Facebook Twitter and or MySpace if you like that always greatly appreciate it if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content any new news and information you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel we got a ton of stuff coming so be sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here seriously you guys will not regret it I promise you that as always if you guys are having a great Day. I shall see you guys once we hit 100 likes. Take care and peace. Surprise, <laughs>